They should say, oh, may the God of Papa this, may the God of Pastor that, shut up! May the God of Bishop this answer my prayer. That is insanity. The Bible says, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved except the name of Jesus. Apostle Takim starts us off in this video by telling us that any salvation you find in using water, salt, oil, or any other deliverance gadget is from another Jesus. Here is how he puts it. There's only one God, only one Jesus. He is the light of the world. And Peter wrapped up what Isaiah began in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Peter said in verse 12, nor is there salvation. Are you in Acts chapter 4 verse 12? Nor is there salvation in any other. Did you hear that? There's no salvation in water. There's no salvation in oil. Any salvation you find in water is not from Jesus. It's from another Jesus. And here is the danger of receiving deliverance from the demon of deliverance. He will come to eat you after giving you the miracle. That explains why people receive deliverance from certain oppressions of the devil after using water or salt, but their family members start dying one by one. Satan does not have free lunch in his restaurant. Any miracle he gives you is a small screen. He has an ill agenda behind it. Apostle expounds more as he emphasizes the need of checking the kind of Jesus you are dealing with. When that demon of deliverance has delivered you and your family, he will come back to eat you. They don't just deliver you and leave you free. While you are enjoying the deliverance now, the harvest is coming. The harvest is coming. It's going to eat you at the end of everything. Satan does not have free lunch. No, 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 no. If he heals you, it's because he's coming to take away your life someday. If he gives you a husband, because all the children that will be born in that marriage will be used by him. If he gives you a job, it's because he's coming. So Satan has no free lunch. That is why you should make sure to check the Jesus you are dealing with. There is no name given among men that they may be saved except the name of Jesus. The Bible didn't say that you should call the name of a certain bishop or apostle when Satan moves against you. Salvation is only in Jesus. No, is there no salvation in any other? For there is no other name. Are you seeing your Bible? Not the name of an apostle. Not the name of a bishop. They should say, oh, may the God of Papa this, may the God of Pastor that, shut up! There is no other name given among men whereby we may be saved. And you may ask, but apostle, what about Elisha, who called the God of Elijah? Well, apostle has the correct answer for you. But how about Elijah? We say, where now is the God of Elijah? That was in the Old Testament. Listen, Israel was still having 300 names of one God in the Old Testament. But in the New, everything was synchronized into J E S U S. In the Old Testament, you can't even mention the name of God. It is an abomination to mention Yahweh. But in the New, He gave us His name to call anytime. Anyhow, anytime, anyhow, when the devil come, you call him. When the devil could knock at your door, you call him. When sickness come, you call him. When enemies surround you, you call him. When things are not working, you call him. When you are not sure of the future, you call him. When you need your children to do well in school, you call him. When somebody is threatening your life, you call him. When sin is threatening your life, you call him. He said, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. We should know that. Somebody shout Jesus. I didn't hear you. Shut the sky with that word. Shut the sky with that word. Jesus!
That is the freedom. I said, that is the freedom. I can't forget when my little nephew in 1994 he was almost dying and my mom held him and shouted Jesus save me and the body hey, I came back to life. There is power in the name of Jesus of which the devil fears and has made the so-called Christians to start replacing the name of Jesus with the name of their bishops and prophets. That is charismatic manipulation and deception. If you are calling the God of your papa or mama, Apostle describes you as being stupid, and he asks you one major question. How can you be having the name of Jesus, which is above every other name, and you are calling the name of your bishop or prophet? Listen to this. There is power in that name. I said, there is power in that name. That's what the devil wants you to call your papa instead of Jesus. He wants you to call your mama instead of Jesus. The God of Pastor that. The God of Bishop this. The God of Prophet that. You are stupid. How can you have the name of Jesus? And you are calling the name of God, men of God. What nonsense is that? Who is more powerful? That is a sign that you have no relationship with Jesus. Because when crisis comes, you call the person that you are in relationship with. When a woman is in trouble, she calls her husband. Her husband is the first person she calls a married woman. Is that not? So if you are married to Jesus and the devil knock at your door, who will you call first? Jesus! Call his name one more time! Shut the sky with that word! When sickness comes, who, who will you call? Jesus. When the devil knock at your door, who will you call? Jesus. When people threaten your life, who will you call? Jesus. When men gang up against you, who will you call? Jesus! The psalmist understood the power in the name of Jesus. That's why he always ran to him whenever the enemies ganged up against him. An apostle puts it better. That is the meaning of the psalmist that says, The Lord is the light of my life. I shall not fear. He is my rock. He is my shelter. He is my refuge. He is my comforter. He is my deliverer. He is my father. He is my God. He is my father's God. He is my judge. He is my Lord giver. He is my king. He will save us. You will fail. May Jesus watch over you. May Jesus fight for you. May Jesus fight for your children. May Jesus defend you. May Jesus defend you. May he use you to defeat the dragon system. In the name of Jesus. No other name given among men. Whereby we may be safe. And in case our generation has forgotten that there is no other name except the name of Jesus... Apostle makes it clear that he is here to tell our generation that there is no other name except the name of Jesus. Whether you like him or not, he doesn't care. That should tell you that you should drop any other name you are using to call for miracles, because any miracle you get from it is not from God as per our dispensation. We are here to tell our generation no other name. If you like, don't like us. We don't care. We are not little babies to be liked. If I am not a woman for you to like me, you get my point? I am here to tell you no other name. Apostle urges the men of God, whose names are being used for prayers to bury their names, because only the name of Jesus is given among men that they may be saved. If the members are calling the name of their bishop or prophet and are getting miracles, the miracles are not from God. Here is what Apostle says. Papa, bury your name. Bishop, bury your name. Apostle, bury that your stupid name. Prophet, bury that your filthy name. It has no bearing in the spirit. If your name is bringing miracle to your members, that name is not bringing miracles because Jesus is involved. You are connected to another God that want to bury the name of Jesus by using your name instead of his name. And here is the danger of calling the God of Bishop this and that. You will get miracles but you will not know that the miracles are not from God. Listen, when Satan wants you to follow errors, he confirms errors with signs and wonders. 
and that is hyper-deception that most Christians are already trapped in. When Satan wants people to follow error, he confirm error with signs and wonders. That's what he does. But as for us, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and the cry of the Spirit, we will serve the Lord. We will serve Jesus. He is enough for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus is enough by itself. Stop calling on the name of the God of your prophet, apostle, or bishop because you don't know which God they are worshipping. Most of them are worshipping mammon and the demon of deliverance, but appearing men of God. Thanks for watching.